Hi, I'm Andrew Jenkson and welcome to the Cavern Industry Channel. Hi, I'm in the new Sprite Quattro. Can't get this right. It's so hot today, it's 30 degrees here today. It's really, really warm. I wish these were full of beer or something, but they're not. Um, yeah, this used to be called Super Sprite. Now they're called Grande, as all eight wide vans will be in the Swift range. Um, so, what's changed? Well, for 2023, the, one of the biggest changes is the wood finish has now become a lighter grey. It's given the Sprite a bit of an uplift inside. It makes it give it a more modern, uh, modern slant. Uh, and the upholstery too has also been upgraded and altered. And again, it's in sort of modern greys. And with the 8 wide, of course, you do get that extra big lot of space. And this is a model which families will love because there is so much space here for the family to basically spread out and do whatever. So let's have a quick look around. I don't know prices yet. Uh, when this video is finally edited up and goes out, I might have the prices then, but I'm not sure. Uh, prices will be one thing that will not be being released, I wouldn't have thought, till at least September which is probably about time you'll see this video anyway, although now it says beginning of August and it's a scorcher. So let's have a quick look around the new Sprite. Of course, things like stand, uh, microwave are standard as per normal. You still get a three burner hob here and also an oven and grill. It's also a spark ignition. Obviously it won't spark because nothing's connected and you'd still get this nice big deep sink as well. That's a good size. And what I do like is the microwave looks and feels as though it fits in better. Uh, that looks a lot better. Uh, main sockets here for your lights here. And of course, kitchen um, <coughs> work service in bad. I thought they might have put a little flap on there as a token gesture, but maybe not. Or as in this case, no, they haven't. And you still get storage. Now, it's a shame they just don't fit another shelf in there, really. It's a shame they just don't fit that shelf because of extra bit of storage. You've got your, your bit here for your other bits. Put that away. And, of course, you have the latest Dometic fridge freezer. Um, all in all, it's a good compact kitchen. Space up here. The thing about these square type lockers, you do get a good lot of space inside them. Now, what we'll do, we'll skirt right across this side here, because here we've got this sort of U-shaped seating, which will be fantastic for the kids uh, and also the grown-ups. Uh, the kids can sit here and have a meal, and the kids, the grown-ups can sit on that other side and have a meal should they desire. There's uh, lockers again over there, a fair size decent window, 
and again this will make into a nice double bed now what they've refrained from doing is they've, refrained, they've actually put a, a curtain around here so this will all curtail this off and I like that idea, I think that's good um, I prefer it to these concertina type things um, I, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to have kept a curtain on here and it probably might have saved a bit of money as well, I'm not sure but anyway let's uh <laughs> let's do the let's do the bedroom and the washroom all together i think but the kitchen itself is pretty good window there not bad it could have been probably a little bit bigger i don't know um and a worktop just at the end or something wouldn't have been a bad idea but anyway let's go and hook it up that bedroom well you get the duvalet mattress on there foam mattress so memory foam it's nice and comfortable the bed here is not a bad size. You've got a little corner shelf above each there. Uh, lockers up here, quite deep. And a fairly big window too. Of course, you've got under sto storage under the bed here too. Oops, sorry about that. There. And a wardrobe there, which isn't overly big but I think people find that it's probably big enough and of course as I say you can cut this off, cut this off with the um, what do you call it concertina doodle uh, divider oh while we're at it what about wardrobes there is another one here so I saw that story so there's plenty of storage space Plenty of storage space, sort of, and there's anything for your TV as well. Up there, okay. Let's go and have a look at that washroom. Well, the washroom feels quite dark actually. If it wasn't for that small roof fence at the top, it would be very dark. There's no window in here, and it's a shame because I think this, a window would have just been ideal. To have brightened it up, um, and there's no um, there's no uh, <laughs> roof vent. So warm, no roof vent in the actual shower itself. Which is a bit of a shame because again, that steam off. Got nice hand basin, good finish. Storage underneath, of course, and also the old Thetford cassette loo. Um, a bit of shelving there, some LED lights. Um, pretty pretty functional, basic washroom. Um, that's what Sprite's all about. It's just been very practical and, and usable. And I think, you know, on a site, if you've not got the facilities, you will not be feeling cheated having this as your main washroom area. Anyway, let's go on a quick summary about the Sprite for 2023 and see what we think. Right, what do I think about the Grande Quattro FB? Fixed bed, of course. Um, again, it's hard to tell without the price, I suppose. But have they made enough improvements to 2023? Well, as I say, I would have liked to have seen new locker designs. That would have been the icing on the cake. But I do like the fact that they've actually given the lockers a new finish. It's lighter. The old finish was starting to look a little bit dark, a little bit dated. And it has given this van a bit of a freshen up, there's no doubt about it. Um, it's still very practical, it's still that Sprite brand. Well, you know, you know my feelings on Sprite, I think they're a brilliant range of tourists. Um, still got the access seat uh, bases there, which is very good. And also, you know, as a family van, this has got lots of room. Uh, and as I say, we don't know how much it's going to be yet. I would guess around about £28,000, £29,000 mark, maybe. Maybe not as much as that. It just depends. We don't know what the price is going to be like at all. So, I think it's pretty well equipped. Microwave, TV aerial, status TV aerial, of course. Good TV aerial. Um, decent cupboard storage space. And I think, really, for, as I say... For maybe grandparents who bring the kids along every now and again, maybe this would be a good suggestion for them. It's got everything you need. It's got your trimmer heating. You'd be able to tow this during the winter time. 
it's a decent van. I think basically Swift have played pretty quite uh, safe with the Sprite because Sprites have sold incredibly well in 2021 stroke 2022. And there's a reason for that. They do offer fantastic build quality and also good value for money. So on that note, I'll bid you farewell and I'll see you on the next video. Please keep subscribing. Please keep ticking yes. Please keep coming on with your comments. You know the usual. Poor. I think it's drink of water time. I forgot any water left. What the heck is that? I've just touched my keys on there. Right, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like them. Please don't forget to press the thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.